Welcome back to the Cricket Show. Uh, out the back of the Gabba here in the Nets, it's master class time and our master of ceremonies, Ian Hill. <laughs> Thanks, Simon. Yeah, well, the hook shot is the, is the subject of the first master class of the summer. So many theories surround the hook shot. Should I, shouldn't I play it? Below shoulder height, above shoulder height. Today's master is Ian Chappell, who played the shot really expertly. And Chappelle, I guess each player has to decide what their philosophy really is. I think that's very important. Uh, I mean, you, you talked about a lot of rubbish being spoken. You get a lot of coaches who say, don't play the hook shot because it's a dangerous shot to play and it's a hard shot to play. That's rubbish. Take no notice of it. If my philosophy is that if you're going to reach uh, first class or international cricket, then I think you've got to be able to play every uh, shot in the book, and that includes the hook shot and the pull shot, because the higher up you go, the more short pitch stuff you'll go. So my philosophy was, um, as a hooker, that it's not just the runs that you get from the shot, it's, it's the psychological damage that you can also inflict on the opposition. As a captain, I always like to have at least one, preferably two, guys in the top order who would take on the fast bowlers and play the hook shot. Better you have more than one because you don't want to leave it to just one guy to, do, to tackle the opposition. But I think it's terribly important because if you can sort of put, of an, en put an end to that rubbish early on, then the other guys can really uh, make hay uh, at the end. The, the other thing about the, the hook shot is if you can put it away in other words, hit it for four a few times, then it means the bowler's got to try another length. He's got to come up to you, and then you're starting to cash in on the drives and the other shots. Righto, well, you're about to play a few. Um, you know, the, you'll talk us through how to practice it and what things you'd like to look for in young players. Yeah, so we'll start with young players. I think it's, it's really important for the young players when they're learning to play the hook and the pull shot that they've got to get confidence. So you get somebody throwing the ball to you from a short distance, just at a gentle medium pace so that you get the confidence of hitting it. And it's, it's really important, uh, as far as I'm concerned, don't use the bowling machine. I reckon it's a nightmare. Get someone to throw them to you, but get them to run just a few paces before they deliver the ball. The reason for that is, I think a batsman should always use the same footwork here in the nets that he's going to be using out in the middle. Okay, let's see how good the memory is and see if I can hit a couple. One of the, one of the things that you're looking to do is get inside the delivery, and I'll explain that in a minute. That's when you're playing the hook shot. You're looking to get inside it. If you're playing the pull shot, you're hitting that more off your body, so you're hitting it from in front of the body. But the hook shot, you want to be inside it because you take the fear factor out. If you were behind this net and I threw a ball at you, you would, you'd shy away from it because even though you know there's a net there, you, you still think you might get hit. Same thing applies with the hook shot. If the ball's coming straight at you, at your head, then you'll hook like that. But if you get inside it so that you know you miss the ball, it misses you, then you take the fear factor out of it. Very important. But the pull shot, as I said, this height, you're playing them off your body. Let's try a couple more. Chappelle, the other thing, sorry. Well, you talked about getting inside the ball. What else, what else goes into the, into the hook shot? Right, the, well, the first thing with all batting, most important thing is to watch that ball out of the bowler's hand. That'll tell you the length. It'll tell you the speed. One of the, the things they say about the hook shot is it's a dangerous shot. You could get hit. I think the hookers get hit less often than the guys who duck because the duckers tend to take their eye off the ball. Whereas the hooker, he's watching the ball so closely that you know, he doesn't get hit. The only time you get hit as a hooker is if you top edge one back into you. But to me, I, I think hookers rarely get hit because you've got to watch the ball so closely to hit it that you don't get hit. The other things... Um, the other things Footwork is terribly important. It's a back and across shot, as I said. If it's bouncing up this high, you want to be inside it, you hook, and then you swivel. When you've hit the ball, you should basically be facing down to fine leg where the ball's going. So remember, you've got, I don't know what it is in, uh, in metres, a bit over a metre, but you've got four feet. That's what I remember from the old days. Four feet there. Use as much of that as you can because you get back here and you hit the ball and you swivel. Remember, you've got really fast bowlers coming at you. It's the sort of shot you don't have to hit it hard because you can use the pace of the bowler. He's coming at 80, 90 miles an hour out there in the middle, so use his pace. Don't try and hit it too hard. Just help it on its way. If it's the pull shot and it's here, then you hit it a bit harder. Remember height. Think, think high, think tall when you're playing the hook shot because, and the pull shot because you want the bat to be coming from above the ball. Ball's at that height, you want the bat coming there, 
down on the ball so that you hit it into the ground. What about one to finish, mate? Let's see, one right in the middle. Oh. Using, watching the ball. Good oh. footwork. Bat high. Creamed it. Down to fine leg. Again. Two. Two. Oh, he's gone again. He's going. Oh, yes. In the middle of that big yeah. Matty Hayden bat that he's borrowed for the day. How did that hit feel? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a long time. It's been a long <laughs> time, but it's a, it's a nice bat. And, the, you see, even international players get into trouble. I remember Matthew Elliott for one. The South Africans bounced him and they got him into a bit of strife with the hook shot. Now, if you're a natural hooker, to me, you don't suddenly start bobbing and weaving because then you've given in to the bowlers. What you need to do is to get into exactly the same position and then you just get out of the way and you hook the one that you want to hook and you let the one go that's in the bowler's territory. That's yeah. important, being selective. Plenty of good options. If you, if you don't want to play the shot, you're in good position to get out of the way and things like that. Not hitting the ball the same pace like I used to do. They used to know exactly where to put the man to catch me out. And of course, kids, I was going to offer this Queensland Bulls helmet to Chappelle well. to use in the nets. He would refuse that for sure. But you, when you're practicing those hooking drills, make sure you've got a lid on. Simon, masterclass number one, hooking. Plenty of good tips. And a very, very good masterclass number one for the season 2004-05. As promised at the top of the show, after the break, we'll have a look at what brings you your pictures in your armchair.